in the heart of a small, forgotten town, nestled between dilapidated buildings, stood an ancient bowling alley, its sign flickering under the weight of years. The locals whispered of its cursed lanes, where shadows danced at the edge of vision, and the echoes of laughter were swallowed by an eerie silence. This is the setting for our chilling tale. One stormy night, a group of teenagers, driven by rumors and seeking adventure, entered the alley. As thunder rumbled, they found the interior untouched by time, the lanes glowing under the dim lights, balls and pins lined up as if waiting for players long gone. Ignoring the heavy air of foreboding, they began to play laughing off the chill that crept up their spines. As the night deepened, strange occurrences began. Pins fell without being hit. Balls returned covered in an unidentifiable, sticky substance, and the sound of clattering strikes echoed from empty lanes. The jovial mood turned to unease, and then to dread, as they realized they were not alone. One of the teens, Alex, decided to investigate the source of the disturbances. He wandered to the back, where the machinery lived, and stumbled upon a hidden door, partially ajar, leading to a decrepit staircase descending into darkness. Driven by a mix of fear and curiosity, he descended. Below, he found an old, abandoned part of the alley, where the air was thick with the stench of decay. The lanes here were warped, the wood rotting, and the pins scattered haphazardly. In the center of this decay stood a single, pristine bowling ball, its surface swirling with hypnotic patterns. As he approached, drawn by an unseen force, the air grew colder, and the faint sound of whispers filled his ears growing louder with each step. The whispers became voices, pleading, warning, begging him to leave, but it was too late. As he touched the ball, the voices screamed in unison, and the room trembled. The lights flickered violently, revealing flashes of a spectral crowd, their faces twisted in agony, as if trapped in a moment of horrific demise. Alex tried to run, but found himself paralyzed, the echoes of the past playing before his eyes like a twisted film. The ball, now glowing with an otherworldly light, seemed to be the heart of the alley's curse, a nexus of trapped souls and shattered dreams. As the storm outside reached its peak, the connection between the present and the haunted past blurred pulling Alex into a vortex of screaming specters. His friends, hearing the commotion, rushed to his aid, only to find the staircase leading to an impenetrable darkness. The night's events remained a mystery, with Alex never found, and the bowling alley closing shortly after, leaving behind whispered tales and unanswered questions. But the story doesn't end here, for the cursed alley still stands, its secrets buried, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul brave enough to roll a ball down its haunted lanes. Months passed since Alex's disappearance, and the town's interest in the old bowling alley waned, overshadowed by newer tragedies and the relentless march of time. Yet the building stood defiant against the elements, its eerie aura undiminished. Enter Sarah, a curious journalist with a penchant for the paranormal. She stumbled upon the tale of the cursed alley while researching local legends for a feature article. Intrigued by the unresolved mystery of that fateful night and the disappearance of Alex, she decided to delve deeper, unaware of the horrors that awaited her. Armed with a camera, recorder, and a 
healthy dose of skepticism, Sarah ventured into the alley on a quiet, foggy evening. Inside, the air was stale, heavy with the scent of mold and old varnish. The lanes lay silent, bathed in the ghostly glow of the overhead lights, flickering as if in warning. As she explored, Sarah felt an increasing sense of unease, the weight of unseen eyes upon her. Her recorder picked up inexplicable noises, distant thuds, the clatter of pins, and an occasional faint whisper, too quick to discern. She pressed on, drawn to the back of the building where Alex had vanished. The hidden door to the staircase was ajar, as if inviting her in. With each step down, the air grew colder. The oppressive silence punctuated by her own ragged breaths. The basement was as Alex had left it. Decayed lanes, scattered pins, and the inexplicably pristine bowling ball sitting ominously in the center. Sarah's rational mind battled with rising fear as she approached the ball. The whispers grew louder, now discernible as pleas and warnings echoing the tragic fates of those who had dared to disturb the alley's grim history. She reached out, camera in hand, aiming to capture any phenomenon, to prove the existence of the supernatural, or dispel it as mere myth. At her touch, the ball illuminated, casting a spectral light that seemed to bleed away the shadows. The walls trembled revealing glimpses of the alley's sinister past. Ghostly figures in mid-throw, their expressions frozen in terror. A scoreboard flashing names long forgotten. Scores climbing in an impossible frenzy. Captivated by the unfolding nightmare, Sarah barely noticed the darkness creeping around her the boundaries of the room dissolving into a void. The ball, now pulsating with an eerie energy, seemed to anchor the room to reality. The only thing preventing her complete absorption into the alley's cursed history. As the night outside faded into the early hours of morning, the haunting escalated. Ghostly bowlers began to materialize replaying their final moments in an endless loop, their faces contorted in eternal anguish. The air was thick with the sounds of a nightmarish party, a celebration turned to catastrophe, replaying forever in this forgotten place. Sarah, caught between realms, recorded everything. Her camera, the only witness to the merging of past and present, her initial fear gave way to fascination. Her journalist's instinct to uncover the truth, overtaking her survival instinct. She realized that the alley was not merely haunted, but alive, reliving its dark history, ensnaring anyone who dared uncover its secrets. The story was no longer just about a missing teenager or a spooky local legend it had become a window into a timeless tragedy, a loop of horror that refused to be forgotten. Sarah knew she had to delve deeper to uncover the source of the curse, to free the trapped souls, and perhaps herself from the alley's grasp. As dawn approached, the boundary between the spectral and the real blurred further the alley seemed to sense her intent, the atmosphere growing more oppressive, the shadows lengthening, reaching for her with ghostly fingers. Sarah pressed on, her every step taking her deeper into the heart of the nightmare, her recorder capturing the sounds of a horror that refused to be silenced, a tale that begged to continue. In the dim light of dawn, the boundary between the physical world 
and the spectral realm in the bowling alley became perilously thin. Sarah, now fully ensnared in the building's haunted embrace, felt time distort around her. The alley's history unfolded like a sinister tapestry. Scenes of joyous gatherings, darkened by sudden, terrifying incidents, each replaying the alley's tragic descent into a cursed existence. She witnessed the alley's heyday, the clatter of pins and laughter filling the air, only for these scenes to fracture into visions of chaos. A fire that never seemed to burn anything, a flood where water flowed uphill, defying physics, and shadowy figures that lurked just beyond clear sight, their eyes glinting with malice. Amidst these phantoms, the bowling ball remained a constant, its surface swirling with unfathomable depths, as if containing the very essence of the alley's curse. Sarah felt an overwhelming urge to understand its purpose, to connect the fragmented horrors into a coherent narrative. Driven by an insatiable need for answers, she approached the ball, her hand trembling as she touched its cold surface. The moment her skin made contact, the alley's history rushed into her mind, a flood of memories not her own. She saw the alley's construction, built over the foundation of an old estate with a dark history. Its previous owner rumored to have dabbled in the occult, binding the property to a fate of eternal unrest. These visions were interspersed with moments from her own life, drawing parallels between her quest for truth and the alley's exposure of its haunted past. The ball seemed to be communicating, using her as a conduit to bring its story to light. As Sarah delved deeper into this psychic connection, the environment around her transformed, the decayed lanes restored to their former luster. Ghostly figures became more corporeal, reliving their last moments over and over, their faces etched with confusion and fear. It became clear that the alley wasn't just haunted. It was a trap, a loop of the last tragic day before the curse took full hold, the mysterious events leading to the alley's damnation. Unexplained accidents, sudden disappearances, the inexplicable madness of its patrons were all centered around the ball, the heart of the alley's dark energy. Sarah, now too deep to retreat, realized that her only way out was through unraveling the mystery. She needed to find the origin of the curse to break the cycle and release the trapped souls, including Alex, whose fate was tied to the alley's tormented history. As she pieced together the alley's secrets, the spectral patrons began to notice her, turning their hollow gazes in her direction, as if recognizing her role in their salvation or damnation. The air thickened, the pressure of countless eyes upon her, each whisper and moan a piece of the alley's sorrowful narrative. The day outside began to wane, time inside the alley twisting, night and day blurring into a continuous loop of dim twilight. Sarah's connection to the real world faded, her presence in the alley becoming as much a part of its history as the specters surrounding her. Determined to find a resolution, Sarah pressed on, her investigations leading her closer to the truth of the bowling alley's curse, a truth that promised to be as horrifying as the manifestations around her, a truth that could either free or forever entrap her within the alley's haunted lanes. Her story was becoming a crucial chapter 
in the legacy of the cursed bowling alley, a chapter yet to be completed. As the endless twilight enveloped the bowling alley, Sarah's perception of reality became increasingly fragmented. The haunting visions and the alley's spectral inhabitants began to merge with her own memories, creating a disorienting maze of past and present. She stumbled through the lanes, each step echoing with the sound of a ball striking pins, a sound that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. In this surreal landscape, Sarah encountered the ghostly visages of those bound to the alley's curse. Among them, she recognized Alex, his eyes filled with a silent plea for release. He was trapped in a loop of his final moments, his disappearance linked to the alley's darkest secrets. Sarah reached out to him, but he faded before they could touch, his image dissolving into the mist that permeated the air. Driven by a newfound determination to save Alex and the others, Sarah delved deeper into the alley's core, where the essence of the curse pulsed like a heartbeat. The bowling ball, now a beacon of otherworldly light, seemed to guide her through the chaos, its glow intensifying with each revelation she uncovered. Through the ball's visions, Sarah learned of the alley's original owner, a man shrouded in mystery and rumored to have made a pact with dark forces for eternal prosperity. His greed and hubris invited a malevolent presence into the building, embedding itself in the very walls and lanes, corrupting every game played and every score tallied. The specters haunting the alley were the souls of those who had succumbed to the alley's dark influence. Their joy and excitement turned to terror and despair, forever replaying the circumstances of their demise. Sarah realized that the bowling ball was not merely an object, but a catalyst, a vessel containing the essence of the alley's tragic history. As night fell again, or perhaps it never truly lifted. Sarah felt the boundary between the worlds, thin to a near transparent veil. The alley's reality began to warp, its physical structure bending to the will of the curse. Walls pulsed and floors undulated, creating a living, breathing entity around her. In this twisted reality, Sarah found herself in the heart of the alley standing before the cursed ball. Its surface swirled with scenes of past horrors and future threats, each blending into the next in a dizzying torrent of images. Touching the ball, she felt an electric surge of energy, a connection that transcended time, linking her to the alley's every incarnation. Paul's visions became more intense, showing her the key to breaking the curse. It was a complex ritual, one that required knowledge of the occult and a fearless confrontation with the alley's darkest energies. Sarah, though no expert in such matters, felt an instinctive understanding of what needed to be done, as if the alley itself was instructing her. Gathering the scattered remnants of her courage, Sarah prepared to enact the ritual. Aware that it was not only the souls of the alley's victims at stake, but her own sanity and life, the specters, sensing the impending confrontation, gathered around, their forms gaining substance, as if drawn to the potential liberation from their eternal torment. As Sarah initiated the ritual, the alley responded with violent convulsions, the building groaning like a colossal beast in agony. 
the boundary between dimensions trembled, ready to shatter, threatening to unleash the alley's pent-up fury into the world. With each word spoken, and each step taken in the ritual, Sarah unraveled the threads of the curse, weaving through the labyrinth of the alley's anguished past, inching closer to a resolution that would either end the nightmare or bind her to it forever. Her actions, interwoven with the fate of the alley, set the stage for a confrontation with the dark heart of the curse. A climax looming in the shadowed lanes where the true horror of the bowling alley awaited. Its story far from over, venturing deeper into the enigmatic expanse beyond the hidden lane. Sarah discovered an area of the alley that transcended time and space. A liminal zone where the very fabric of reality seemed woven with threads of spectral energy. Here, the history of the alley unfolded in a surreal panorama. Each scene a frozen moment of joy or terror, encapsulated in a timeless bubble. In this realm, the founders of the curse, those shadowed figures cloaked in regret and darkness, became more communicative. They revealed themselves as former proprietors of the land, individuals who, in their thirst for prosperity, had delved too greedily into forbidden knowledge, binding their souls to the alley and unleashing the curse that fed on tragedy and sorrow. These spectral entities, bound to the alley's fate, narrated the origins of their downfall, showing Sarah how their misguided actions had created a vortex of dark energy, attracting lost souls and trapping them in an endless cycle of replayed misery. They spoke of a hidden chamber, the heart of the alley, where the curse's core lay, a place where no living soul had ventured and returned unchanged. Driven by a desire to end the suffering and free both the trapped spirits and herself, Sarah followed the guidance of these remorseful shades, navigating through a maze of shifting realities, each turn revealing deeper layers of the alley's haunted past. The air thrummed with power, whispering echoes of lost souls growing louder, guiding her toward the chamber that held the key to unraveling the curse. As she approached the heart of the alley, the environment grew increasingly distorted, the laws of physics bending to the will of the curse, floors tilted at impossible angles, walls pulsed with a life of their own, and the air shimmered with spectral energy. The bowling ball, her constant companion in this journey, began to resonate, its surface swirling with images that hinted at the potential for salvation or eternal damnation. Finally, Sarah stood before the chamber's entrance, a grandiose door carved with symbols that seemed to shift and change under her gaze. The door pulsed with a dark energy, repelling and inviting her in equal measure. With a deep breath, she pushed it open, stepping into a room that defied all expectations. Inside, the chamber was vast, larger than the alley itself, a grand cathedral dedicated to the alley's tortured soul. At its center, stood a monolithic structure, an altar, or perhaps a tomb, radiating energy so intense it was almost tangible. The air was saturated with the essence of the curse, the combined anguish and despair of centuries acting 
as a palpable force. The shadowed figures, their forms more defined in this sacred space, gestured towards the structure, indicating that it was the source of the alley's curse and the key to its salvation. They warned of the challenges ahead, of trials that would test Sarah's courage, resolve, and understanding of the dark forces at play. With the fate of countless souls hanging in the balance, Sarah steeled herself for the final confrontation. The chamber seemed to sense her intent, its atmosphere thickening, shadows coalescing into forms both menacing and mournful. A symphony of whispers filled the air, a cacophony of past pleas and present warnings, creating a dissonant soundtrack to her determined advance. As Sarah approached the central structure, the energy in the room surged, a storm of spectral forces converging upon her, challenging her right to alter the alley's fate. Each step was a battle, a defiance of the curse that sought to engulf her, to add her spirit to its collection of tormented souls. Determined to break the cycle, Sarah prepared to confront the core of the curse, to face whatever horrors lay within the chamber's heart. Her journey had led her to this pivotal moment, where the line between hero and victim was as thin as the veil between worlds, and the story of the cursed bowling alley awaited its next, possibly final, chapter. In the heart of the chamber, beneath the oppressive gaze of the spectral figures, Sarah confronted the core of the curse, a dark, pulsating orb suspended above the altar. Its surface, a swirling mass of trapped souls, and broken dreams. It was the epicenter of the alley's suffering, where all the pain and terror converged into a single potent entity, drawing upon every shred of courage and knowledge she had gained throughout her ordeal. Sarah began the final ritual, her voice echoing through the chamber, commanding and clear, the orb reacted violently, sending waves of dark energy crashing against her, trying to overwhelm her resolve with visions of despair and madness. But Sarah was undeterred. She had become more than just a journalist or an investigator. She had become a beacon of hope for the lost souls and a nemesis to the curse that held them. With each word of the ritual, the orb's resistance weakened, its surface flickering, revealing glimpses of the alley's true past, untainted by darkness. As the ritual reached its climax, the chamber trembled, the very foundation of the alley shaking as if in protest. The orb's pulsations became erratic, its darkness ebbing like a tide, revealing the trapped souls within, their faces contorted in silent screams for release. With a final determined shout, Sarah completed the ritual, unleashing a burst of pure, radiant energy that pierced the orb, shattering its shell. A torrent of light exploded, sweeping across the alley cleansing its every corner, dispelling shadows, and silencing the whispers of despair. The transformation was immediate and profound. The spectral figures, their shadowy forms dissolving in the light, smiled in gratitude and peace. Their spirits finally freed from the chains of the curse. They vanished like mist at dawn leaving behind a serene silence. Sarah, exhausted but triumphant, watched as the chamber and the alley itself transformed. The decay and darkness gave way to the original beauty of the bowling alley, its lanes pristine, 
its atmosphere no longer oppressive, but warm and inviting. The curse was broken. The alley freed from its centuries-old torment. The souls of the departed found their rest. And the building itself seemed to sigh in relief, its structure solidifying into the benign, welcoming place it was meant to be. As the sun rose, casting gentle light through the windows, Sarah stepped out of the alley, her mission completed. The town would awaken to find the old bowling alley not a place of whispered fears, but a monument to resilience, a testament to the courage of one woman who dared to confront the darkness and emerge victorious. The haunted legacy of the alley was over, its story completed in a final chapter of liberation and renewal. And while the world moved on, the tales of that night would live on, a reminder of the thin veil between the ordinary and the extraordinary, and the power of the human spirit to face the unknown.